Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So today we are gonna be doing some really cute spring nails. And in my last video, I mentioned that I was going to be doing some mystical nails. And surprisingly enough, this is going to be another freestyle straight from my head. And I always get excited when I do freestyles because to be honest, I don't do a lot of them. And whenever I come up with something on my own that I feel like looks pretty good, I'm always kind of proud of myself. So yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's go ahead and get straight into that. So here's what my natural nails are looking like today. Don't mind her, okay? I don't need to groom them or anything, so I'm gonna go straight in with my peel-off base coat. And for that, I like to use some cuticle oil and my McCart peel-off base coat. So the first thing I like to do is just put a little bit of cuticle oil onto my nails. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra on my pinky nail just so that I can make sure that these come off without me like struggling to take them off. And I just like to make sure that I rub this in as best as possible. And after I have all of the oil on my nails, I'm just gonna go in with two layers of my peel-off base coat. And for anyone wondering, I like to use two coats because I wanna make sure that these actually pop off. And if there's any holes or anything in the first layer and I don't put anything over it, then there is a possibility that the product can like seep through and then they just won't come off. So I just like to make it easier on myself and go in with two layers. So my peel off base coat is fully applied and I already went ahead and sized out all of my notes for today. So we're actually gonna be doing some almond nails and I've just been really enjoying doing these almond nails, especially for these more springy nail sets. So to glue on these nail tips, I'm just gonna use some base coat as always. And the reason I like to use base coat for this is because unfortunately nail glue does not stick well on top of this peel off base coat. But if you are doing these nails to last and you're not using a peel off base coat, I definitely do recommend using regular nail glue instead. And I'm just gonna go over these with a layer of base coat just for a little bit of added protection. I normally do this because sometimes when I am shaping up the nails, the nail tips kind of just like pop off. And I feel like the base coat kind of helps to hold the tips in place. So I don't know, it could just like all be in my head, but I feel like it kind of works. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over this with a single layer of that base coat. All right, so I have my nail tips on and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these down using my tip cutters. Now, I don't really know how long I wanna go, but I'm thinking maybe I'll go kind of short for today. I feel like my last almond nail set was kind of on the longer side, so maybe I'll go short for today. And also, I just don't really do short nails like that, so I kind of have to switch it up sometimes. So I think maybe here is pretty good. Okay, and now I'm just going to like cut the sides of these to make it into the almond shape. Now, typically I would use straight edge nail clippers for this, but really funny story. So I was doing my mom's nails the other day and I was trying to cut off her nails in order to like give her a soak off. And literally the part that you squeeze down to cut the nail broke off. So um, yeah, now I just don't have any straight edge nail clippers right now. So we're just gonna use these. So yeah, so I'm just gonna cut the sides of these and it doesn't have to be perfect yet. I just kind of want to make sure that I'm not spending 15 years filing these into the right shape. So this is really what I'm going for. And now I'm just gonna smooth out the edges using my 88 grit nail file.
Okay, so the nails are prepped and now we are ready to move on to the application.
So the application is done and this is what my nails are looking like so far. So I have my dust collector ready and we're going to go ahead and start shaping up these nails. And for anyone who doesn't know, when I'm doing almond nails and I'm shaping them up, I like to stick with a carbide bit or just a bit in general, mainly because I find it to be easier and I don't really think a nail file is necessary. But of course, feel free to use whatever works best for you. And for reference, I like to use my drill bit on probably anywhere between 8 and 10,000 RPMs whenever I'm filing over the surface. Okay, so the shaping and filing is done and this is what they are looking like. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but I do kind of like to leave a little bit of a gap here. I do that on purpose because I don't keep these on to last and it just makes taking them off a lot easier. And also when I finish this off with top coat, it doesn't really look like much anyway. So I don't really worry about like getting it too close. But if I were to do these to last, I would definitely make sure to close this gap. So before we get into the nail art, I'm just going to quickly get rid of the excess dust using some isopropyl alcohol.
Okay, so now we're ready to get into the nail art. And like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a freestyle and I'm very excited about what I came up with. So this is the reference photo that we're gonna be using for today. I feel like on paper, it looks kind of weird if I'm being honest. So hopefully on my nails, it looks a lot better. Um, I do have high hopes for this nail set. So we are going to see how this turns out. But before we get into it, let me show you everything we're gonna need. Okay, so this is everything. And because this is a freestyle, I'm kind of just throwing in some things I might need, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna use everything that's like here. But yeah, anyway, so let's go through some of these gel polishes. Now, these three colors, this teal forest green, this mint green and this black are gonna be mixed together. Oh, and I think I'm also gonna mix this with a little bit of white. I'm trying to mix the perfect like muted olive green. Next, I have this cat eye gel and this is a nice like turquoise blue color. And for the cat eye gel, I'm just gonna be using this magnet. This magnet is actually pretty cool. It has like all of these different magnets so this one in the middle is if you want to achieve a flower shape this rounded one is typically used for creating like the like french tip look this one i'm not sure about but it's there so you know if you need it so that's great this one is your basic rectangle shape and this one i'm also not too sure about so next i'm going to be using this solid nail gel and i've been using this a lot for my 3d flowers next i have this purple and this sort of rose color and then of course i just have some top coat i'm also going to be using some gold chrome powder and for the decorations i'm thinking i'm going to use these little colorful beads i'm also going to be using two types of flowers i have these pearly like iridescent flowers and the regular solid color flowers and lastly i'm going to be using some of these pearls and these gold butterflies and lastly because i couldn't fit it in frame i'm going to be using these little butterflies here and yeah that's pretty much everything i'm going to be using for today's nail set let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing i'm going to do is make that muted green color so let me go ahead and get the colors for that so oh my Every time I try and open these gel polishes, they're so difficult to open. I don't know if I'm just weak or whatever. I'm gonna like just do a little bit of each color first, just to make sure that, oh my gosh, just to make sure that, just so that I don't make a whole bunch of the wrong color. I think that's a pretty good green. I am going to make some more of this and I will come right back. Okay, and now I'm gonna put some of the other colors onto my mixing plate as well. And I'm also gonna mix a little bit of this purple with some black just to give it some depth. So the first thing I'm gonna do to start out these nails is do my airbrush effect. And for that, I'm gonna be using this fan brush as always. I feel like after using the blooming gel method for a couple of times, I don't really enjoy it. I feel like it takes a lot more time than if I were to do it myself like this. So I'm gonna be doing a green airbrush on my middle finger and my pinky nail. And then I'm gonna be doing the rose pink color on my ring finger and my thumb. So the first thing I like to do is just dip my fan brush into a little small section on the side here. And then I just like to stipple it onto the area I want it to be like most saturated. And once I've kind of got the color on there, I just like to go ahead and disperse it by continuing to stipple it. And as you keep stippling, you wanna make sure that the further you go out, the more and more it's blended and faded. Now this is gonna take a couple of layers because the first layer will always be very sparse. So this is the first layer. And as you can see, it does not look like anything, like I said, but that is okay. This is just the first layer. So I'm gonna do the same thing to my pinky nail as well. Again, I'm making sure that most of the color stays in the center. And once I have the color on there, I just like to blend out the edges and make it nice and sparse. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for probably about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, and now I'm just going to continue to do this until I get the desired saturation.
Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to my ring finger and my thumb using this rose color. Oh, and also just a little bit of a tip. I do like to keep a little like cup of like acetone next to me just so that I can fully get the color out of my brushes because honestly, alcohol is just not strong enough. Like it does not get the color out. So acetone really does the trick. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna focus on my pinky nail because this nail has some chrome and I just wanna get this out of the way. So because I don't want the chrome powder to stick to everything on the nail, I'm actually gonna go over this nail with a layer of matte top coat. I feel like the matte top coat just helps to prevent it from like sticking everywhere because it's like super velvety and smooth. So I'm just gonna go over this with a single layer of this matte top coat. And then before I cure, I'm just wiping down the sides and I'm gonna throw this in for about 30 seconds. Now, as always, I forgot to mention, we're gonna need some rhinestone glue for this. Okay, so the matte top coat is on, but I wanna be extra safe. So I'm just gonna use the very smooth side to further like smooth out the surface. And I'm making sure to use the soft side because I don't want to end up filing away the matte top coat and then like filing off the airbrush. That just would not be fun. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It's nice and smooth. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this rhinestone glue onto my mixing plate. And then I'm actually gonna mix this with a little bit of black gel polish. Now I saw on an Instagram reel that like, you're supposed to mix the black with a little bit of like a clear product in order for the chrome powder to look more shiny and not so like glittery. And that's genuinely a problem that I've had for a very long time. Like it just not looking super chrome, like mirror-like. And now I'm gonna take this short liner brush and just create a nice border around this nail. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for probably about 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's get into this chrome powder. Now for whatever reason, I do like to kind of just use whatever's in the top first because I feel like sometimes less is more, like I feel like when you use too much, it just starts to look kind of weird. So we are going to start with a very, very small amount. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Like it looks so mirror-like and silvery instead of looking like really glittery and shimmery. Okay, so for now, I think I'm just gonna move on because the last thing I have to do is glue on some butterflies, but I don't wanna do that until the very end. So I'm gonna finish off with the nail art first. So now let's move on to the ring finger. And this one has the, I don't know how to describe it. So I might just have to do it in order for you to see what I'm doing, but it kind of looks like a web almost, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna take this line art brush and get some of this color on here. And I'm just gonna create a long diagonal line from this side all the way up into the right side of my cuticle. Okay, and now I'm going to create some branches on this. And then I'm gonna create another branch here. And now what I'm gonna do is round out the edges. And I feel like once I do that, you'll start to understand like what I'm doing.
And then I'm just gonna fill in the middle of this. Okay, so I did this thing here. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is called, but yeah, this is what I did. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this for probably about 20 seconds or so. And now I'm going in with a second layer. Okay, and the last bit of nail art is on this finger and it's kind of like some swirls. Honestly, today's nail art is so like weird that I can't really explain it. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. I'm gonna go back in with the short liner brush and I'm just going to try and draw some of these swirls a little bit. Okay, I think this is what I was going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. And I'm gonna take this little tiny brush and I'm gonna go over this with this cat eye gel. And this is really tedious. So I'm making sure to take my time with this. Okay, so I have it on there, if you can see that. Now I'm gonna take this magnet and try and like further define this glitter. I always have a very difficult time doing this, so hopefully I can like actually get it today. So I'm just going to pull it to each side and keep doing that until I kind of have the glitter in the middle. Okay, I think I kind of got it like kind of good. Yeah, I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds. Okay, so now is a really good time to go ahead and get into those flowers. And even though I don't really know how to use this stuff, I really enjoy using it. Like it's really fun and I just have a great time. So I think sometimes, you know, some people expect me to like know what I'm doing at all times, but I promise you, I don't know what I'm doing the majority of the time. So yeah, I don't know, do with that what you will. But you know what, that's the fun in doing nails is like sometimes you really don't know what you're doing and you kind of just have to throw yourself out there and see what happens. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I think that's the beauty in it. Okay, so these flowers are supposed to be kind of big. So I'm gonna try and shape it so that these petals are kind of pointed at the tips and kind of like pinching it a little bit using my fingers. And what I like to do sometimes is kind of fold the edges of the flower over so that it looks like they're kind of thin. Okay, I think that first petal is good. I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I have all five petals. Okay, so this is the flower on my middle finger. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my thumb and I will come right back. 
Okay, so the two flowers are done and now I'm gonna paint them both green. And I made sure to make the flower on my thumb not as big as this one because I still wanna be able to see the blush pink underneath. I wasn't too concerned with having that here because I'm gonna be painting it using the same green anyways, so yeah. So just gonna go over this with that exact same green. And I kinda wanna make sure that this is like low-key kinda thin because I still wanna be able to see all of the texture inside of the petals. And now I'm gonna go in with this purple and this darker purple here just to give these flowers some dimension. And I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of this purple as well. I'm gonna mix this in with a little bit of black. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. And I'm just gonna put this really dark purple in the middle. Kind of like that. And I'm just gonna flash gear this. Okay, so this is kind of last minute, but I think I also wanna add this pearl powder. And hopefully this isn't too much. I don't know, we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is first put on a layer of top coat and I'm only gonna do it on these two fingers here. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the like cat eye effect under this. All right, and I'm gonna cure this for a full 60 seconds. Okay, I lied. So I only cured it for 30 seconds, not 60. And I'm just gonna use whatever's on this little top piece and cross your fingers that this looks good. I'm gonna start off with this finger first and just rub this in. You know what? I actually like that. Hopefully it looks good on this pointer finger with that gel underneath it. Okay, so I can still see the effect underneath it. Okay, I think that's really cute. Okay, so that is it for the nail art portion. Now we're gonna move on to gluing on these nail charms. Okay, so I don't know exactly what I wanna do. Um, So right, yeah, like I drew out the design, but I don't know, I kinda wanna change a few things. I don't know, we'll see how things go first. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna focus on is my pinky and this nail is pretty simple. We're just going to add the pearls and these gold butterflies. So I'm gonna take my rhinestone glue and I'm just going to put two little pearls right here. Kind of like that. I'm just gonna take my flashlight and flash cure this really quickly. Okay, change of plans. I'm not gonna use these. Yeah, I'm not gonna, well, I mean, I don't know. What is my life? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna use these. I'm actually going to use the other ones that I showed you guys earlier. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use these flowers here and hopefully these aren't too big for my pinky nail i mean i think i can add like one of these and then maybe like one of the tiny cold ones okay and i'm just gonna place the red butterfly here just like that and i'm going to quickly flash cure this 
Oh, all my life is falling apart. I don't know what's going on in this video. And then I'm just going to put the little gold butterfly right here. Okay, and before I do anything else, I'm going to throw this in for about 30 seconds. Okay, so I think that's it for that nail. And now I'm going to move on to this nail here. This nail is pretty simple. We're just going to be doing the raindrop effect. So I'm just going to take my rhinestone glue and squeeze out some drops of this onto the nail. Not really placing them anywhere in particular. Just making sure that they are not overlapping the green part. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So now we're gonna jump to this finger and this nail is gonna have both of these butterflies and I'm gonna see if I can actually squeeze in some of these flowers as well too. I was gonna use the other flowers, but I feel like these go with the set a little bit better. And if not, I can always switch back. So we're just gonna test these out first. You know what, I think I just wanna do one butterfly on this nail because that's what I did in the reference photo. I feel like two might be like too much. And then maybe like I'll add some of these flowers here, I'm thinking. Now these flowers are kind of big, so I don't know how well these are gonna fit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's just maybe try the other ones and not use those because those are not cute. And I think in these, I'm just gonna use the white ones and see what happens. I don't know if that looks better or not. I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't think I like these either. So I'm gonna take these off. Why does everything keep falling today? Like I was saying, I'm just gonna take these off and maybe we'll do the other ones again. And if not, then I don't know, I'm screwed. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but I feel like it needs something else. Maybe I can add some of these little like curl balls. Maybe see if that adds something or maybe not because no. Maybe I'll add the smaller ones and see if that helps. And just a little tiny gold bead too. I think that's like kind of nice. I mean, I feel like it kind of works because this is a very like random, like freestyle. So maybe it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna cure it and hope it looks better when it comes out of the lamp, which it won't, but I don't know, anything's possible. Yeah, I'm just gonna flash cure this and I'll come back. Okay, I don't know, it's not terrible. It's not my greatest thinking, but it's not bad. So with that being said, I'm just gonna move on and pretend nothing's wrong. So we're gonna move on to our thumbnail. And this nail just has some of these little gold butterflies. I'm just gonna put a couple or maybe even just one here and then a little tiny one here at the bottom. Okay, yeah, I think they both have to be the smaller ones because otherwise the whole nail will be covered, so. And then maybe I'll put a little, that's not little. I'm gonna put a little pearl next to it and we'll put one down here for good luck. Okay, I think that's not terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I'm like slowly giving up on this nail set. But I mean, at this point we're basically done, so. It doesn't matter. The way it looks is the way it's gonna look. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Okay, so this is what my nails are looking like. And as you can see, I just put some jewelry on. So I'm just gonna finish this off with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. This nail set was definitely a struggle, mainly because it was a freestyle and I wanted to change things up a little bit. But as you guys saw, I had a hard time. So, <laughs> but I think in the end, it definitely turned out to be a win. It's not like what I pictured it would look like, but I do still think that it looks very, very pretty. And similarly to my last video, I just want to say thank you to the person who commented that I should do mystical nails. This is exactly what I picture when I think of something mystical 
colorful and just super spring-like and fairy core, if that makes sense. So I do hope that this is what you were thinking of when you were referring to mystical nails because this is exactly where my mind went. As always, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. And even though this one was a little bit difficult to work with, I would definitely still wear it for the spring season, especially with those two pearlescent nails and the cat eye effect. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like that really makes this nail set pop. So yeah, with that being said, definitely do let me know your comments below. Let me know how you feel about this nail set. This one definitely gave me a run for my money. And as a bit of a side note, if you have any other nail sets that you guys would like to see from me, definitely do feel free to let me know in the comments as well. I want to be able to make nail sets that you guys want to see, so definitely let me know down below. But as always, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today, and I will see you guys in the next one.